Hello friends, welcome to my channel Organetic. The apartment that belongs to my parents in law is quite unusual. They handcrafted all the furniture themselves, came up with the design on their own, and decorated it with only peculiar things. If you enjoy watching unusual house tours, this video is for you. Let's get started! Traditionally, let's begin our tour with the hallway. The owners painted the walls here themselves. They went with bright colors. In some places they chose red, in others green, and for some areas they combined both colors. In order to make cabinets in the hallway, they reused their old kitchen materials from a previous apartment. Behind one of the cabinet doors there is a hidden ventilation system. This wall holds an organizer for beanies, scarves and gloves. It's a warm season right now, so it's almost empty. But during the winter time it's filled with all kinds of goodies. My mother-in-law made this organizer herself out of panels and fabric baskets. The items on the wall across were brought from Mongolia. The scene captured on this photo is from an equestrian performance. The bow and arrows brought from this country are also used as a wall decor. It's believed that it was the Mongols who invented the arched bow, which allowed them to shoot while sitting on a horse, making these nomads invincible. The glass door, ornamented with puppies, separates the hall from the living room. The chest sits in a corner next to it. And this is how the adjacent wall is decorated. The two grey canvases are actually IKEA curtains. Next we are looking at a handmade hanging composition. Every single element here was brought from Namibia. It includes a real ostrich egg, dried African plants and wooden animal souvenirs. There is even a vintage horseshoe here, as well as an old railway bolt, which was found in a desert. The wall unit covers the entire length of the room. As you might have already guessed, it was handmade by my father-in-law. There is a door in the center of the unit, which we will open soon, but one thing at a time. Almost everything that you see on the shelves is brought from other countries most of it from African continent. For decor, my parents-in-law try to pick antique objects or something that they found interesting while traveling. The wine rack is stocked with bottles. It's located right on the border with the kitchen, which makes it easy to grab the right bottle if necessary. If you follow my Instagram, there is a chance you've seen the picture of this wall before. This is my favorite place in my in-laws apartment. The white partition with cells and a sliding door is also handmade. The lead piece here is this antique stove, which is about 100 years old. Despite its age, it's in excellent condition and even serves as a storage place for a few papers. And the author of the painting above is my father-in-law, who finished painting it last year. Very soon I will show you the video about transforming the interior on a budget and you will see a different arrangement of this place. Let me know in the comments which one do you like better, the first one or the second one. This area with cells contains a variety of souvenirs and small items. My favorite one is a toy sewing machine that actually functions. There is a sliding door behind the cells that can be closed anytime. I personally think that it looks better with the door open when you can even peek at the kitchen, which is our next stop. I'll skip the kitchen furniture for this video since it's store-bought and cut right to the little island that my father-in-law crafted himself. The left side cabinet hides the containers with refreshments or just empty barrels. The sliding shelves provide an easy access to all contents. 
the right side hides stuff that isn't being used often. This big painting was brought from Romania. The three-tier fruit bowl is usually stocked, however, my in-laws are currently on a bike tour around Germany, so there isn't much food at home right now. And here the dining area. The dining table is handcrafted. And I think you already know who the author of the painting is. The mats on the couch were purchased in a sunny Kyrgyzstan. Although my in-laws are pure German blood, they love different cultures from all over the world. This unit in front of the table was inspired by something that my father-in-law saw in a magazine. Because of the fax machine that sits here, he came up with the idea to add a pull-out shelf to serve as a writing desk. The balcony is accessible from both the living room and the kitchen. It has two sections. The open area of the balcony is actively used when the weather is good. Mother-in-law adores plants, that's why she put them everywhere she possibly could. This table is a really cool place to have lunch. Retractable awning is installed above the table in case the sun gets too bright. Even though it isn't handmade, I still included it to show a practical solution for open balconies and patios. When the weather is bad, it's nice to spend time in the closed area, better known as a winter garden. Despite the name, it's not a good place for plants during winter times, since it's still a part of a balcony and can't be sealed well enough for plants to stay warm. Let's check out my mother-in-law's room. Look at the unusual way to store files and other things on the desk. These simple boxes are arranged to serve as shelves with dividers. On the wall above the bed you can see paintings. And this time the author of the paintings is my mother-in-law. This sideboard is also antique. She painted it her favorite color and hung accessories on the hook that was already there. Remember the door in the middle of the wall unit in the living room? Well, it leads to my father-in-law's room. Since he is a creative man who is prone to make a creative mess, I cherry-picked the most interesting parts of his room. Let's start with the wardrobe that was made of some other repurposed piece of furniture. The side cabinets are equipped with clothes bar and the wicker baskets are on a drawer duty. When you craft furniture yourself, it's easy to adjust the dimensions of the shelves to the dimensions of the baskets that you already picked. Books are kept at the very top here, just as in the living room. I endorse this idea for bookkeeping because it helps to save space in the apartment. Across from the bed is a work area. The furniture and decor is also made by the owners of the apartment themselves. Even the spots were handmade. This is how the wall over the bed is decorated. This brick wall piece was painted, which is a quality and budget-friendly alternative to wall stickers. The bathroom is quite spacious, so the furniture made of upcycled pieces from the previous apartment fit here easily. This cabinet stores various useful things, like a stepladder, ironing board, towels and other household textiles as well as a vacuum cleaner. The hole of the vacuum cleaner is hung on a hook for convenience. The other hook holds the cleaning brushes. Let's take a look behind the curtains. Here you can find the washing machine sitting in a corner. The top load works best for the owners, since they are of senior age now. The rest of the cleaning and laundry items are also stored in this area. If necessary, an extra light turns on here as well. 
Next you can see a sink with a handmade wall unit built around it, which can hold plenty of things and was designed to prevent you from hitting your head while cleaning up. And here's the corner bus tube. If you like this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button, please subscribe to my channel if you are new, see you next week, bye bye!